Hi you guys. Today I'm doing what I call grown up beanie weenie. <coughs> Excuse me. Had to turn away from the food. So I have a really hot pan right here. And what we're going to do is I have cut up one smoked sausage. You can use kielbasa or whatever. Had a lady say that smoked sausage bothers her, so I don't know if kielbasa would do the same or not. But if there's a sausage that is good for you, try that. Or you can use your hot dogs. So all I'm going to do with this is brown it and try and render off some fat before I add anything else. And if you have children, I highly recommend peeling the skin off. I have seen so many kids choke on that. Comes off real easy if you peel it when the sausage is still whole. I'm going to brown that and then I have cut up a quarter of an onion, diced, um, just a smidge from the bell pepper, and minced one garlic clove. And then we'll be using a large can of baked beans. And I love this stuff. This is like kid food for grown-ups. And it's a quick, easy dinner. And you can make it with a pan of cornbread. You can open some veggies, whatever you want, and call it dinner. So I'm going to brown this off. It's going pretty fast because this pan's really hot and then I'm going to drain off the excess fat. I want to try and get as much of that out as possible. Let me get this done. Alrighty, so now we are going to add our onion and bell pepper and I'm going to get that going before I add the garlic just so I don't get too much color on the garlic or burn it or anything. So get that in there and soften it up a little bit. don't want raw onion in there. Kids would be like, no. This was a real family pleaser for our house. And it's way better than that canned beanie weenie. Better for you. And once your onions start looking translucent, you can add your garlic. Stir that about. When you start smelling it, you can add your beans. And then I just let it simmer for a few minutes. Marry all those flavors. Add a little salt and pepper. And you can use your favorite baked bean in this or your home canned baked beans or whatever. Do you guys want to see more canning on this channel? Because I really don't record a lot of my canning and I have canning recipes that I haven't even published yet. And dehydrating 
I just need to get a feel for where this channel needs to go. Or if it's just going to die. Slow, sad death. Okay, so those onions are looking pretty good. And if you would prefer your onion and stuff cooked really soft, you can throw it in when you start browning your sausage. Recipes are always made to customize to your taste. Bella is feeling quite feisty this evening. Dog is bored. And I feel bad because I don't go to parks and stuff in the rain and all of that. So she probably thinking spring can come any time now to get these humanoids out and about. So I've added my garlic. And you can add as much or as little of everything as you want. You can multiply this easy peasy. What's the matter, Belle? Who are you talking to? Huh, Belle? Bella Blue? Bella. Oh, she just jumped up on my butt. You want to say hi to the people? Bella, say hi to the people. See our Bella? She's getting big, you guys. She's getting big. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It's not playtime. <laughs> She comes in and she just slams up against the wall and slides down and just lays there while I cook. But she's feeling quite spry today. She's a feisty thing. She's really starting to find her personality and be a dog. I'm looking for another big dog because she needs, needs a friend. This is not working out with just her and these senior citizens. Tippy's on his last leg. I don't expect him to be around too much longer. Because I don't want to be having a horde of dogs. But she... I have definitely come to the conclusion she needs a friend to be healthy and happy. If that makes sense. So now I'm going to add my beans and smell the garlic. I can tell that the veggies have softened up. I can't tell you how much I like this stuff and I don't even know why. So I'm not the biggest fan of beans at all. I'm going to turn this down to low. Add a little pink salt. I do have the blueberry jam uh, video coming up. I don't know what happened with it in the editing program. But I went to review it on my channel and it was all fuggled up. So I will get that straight and get that posted. I know I promised mom I think and some other people I would get that up and I have let you down okay so I'm just going to let this simmer through a little bit those beans nice and hot and the flavors going through it and while that does its thing I'm gonna surprise the hubby with some cornbread. He loves him some cornbread. So I will see you when we plate this up. This this is basically done. You're just going to let it simmer a little bit. 
marry those flavors and get hot all the way through. Alrighty guys, we are done. I guess I could have got a spoon to scoop this up. And as you can tell, it simmered while the cornbread cooked, which was about 20 minutes. And you can tell that the onions and bell pepper are all softened now. And if you have people that don't like onion in your family, a lot of people will eat the dehydrated kind, or you can just use onion powder. wrist was about to break. So there it is, our grown up beanie weenie. And if you have any questions, post them down below. If you haven't subscribed, think about doing that. I'm going to try and come up with some new stuff throughout this year. Just thinking about some challenges. And uh, yeah, so there we have it. Um, a thumbs up always helps. If you haven't subscribed, maybe ponder that. And I will see you guys next time. Stay warm, stay cozy, because it's pretty gnarly out there. See you later.